Okay, the second part of this process of cleaning is being able to make sure the things that you use in are clean. Tables, chairs, all that stuff is clean. It's very important that you have clean products. These stencils are from showoff.com. They're very efficient stencils. You can use it for airbrushing, you can use it for sponge painting. I've used this on more than one occasion for airbrush and face paint. I actually have two different sets. I have one set for sponge paint, another set for airbrush. So for this process, you'd want to take a paper towel, you want to lay it down, and then the two ways you can do it is you could actually go over the second towel. Now, may I remind you, I advise you not clean these with alcohol. I'm not saying you can't, but you can, but they'll eventually crack and fall apart. These stencils last for about a year of heavy use before they're no longer any good. So what I do is I take it a rag, I dip it in water, and I just go lightly over it. And that pretty much cleans it up pretty good. The other process you can do to clean these is with a baby wipe. I've actually had situations where I'm on the job and you have to clean. So if you notice, it's still kind of messy. The little bit of bleed through is protected by the paper. So we're gonna get ourselves a baby wipe. This is what I think is one of the best ways to do it. Because the way I see it is if you use it on a child, you could use it on these. And if you use it on these, you could also use it on a child, so that way you know it's safe. These are very good. These work for airbrush and doing this. Do not make sure you leave these out in the sun. They will warp and destroy your stencils. Do not wipe your stencils too rough. I actually had to, periodically, you could, so, you could soak these in the water. Soaking does work really well. It's very efficient. I like to have my stencils nice and clean. And with the virus, I would actually clean every single time I use a stencil. It is a long process while working, but it makes sure all the children are clean, make sure the parents are happy with what they're doing, make sure these stencils are clean. If I scrub back and forth, you'll actually tear your stencils up and your stencils will be useless and you won't want to use them. So a lot of times I'll do dabbing, especially where they could actually, because if you see these little things, they'll pick up and they'll tear back. So you want to go with the same contour of them. So if you notice right here, there's a little bit of a bend. So I actually have to bend that back. So these things do get very fragile. You want to take care of them. You want to make sure that they're efficient and they work well for you. Uh, I believe that you treat these as if you're, they're your employees. you got to treat them really good because without these, you will not have a very efficient business. And there we go. So what I do next, I go through, I put them in the water, make sure they're nice and wet. Let them, you can even let them soak for a while. Then I go through, I get a paper towel. I set that over there. Put a second paper towel down. Get a third paper towel. And then I dry it. And the way I dry it is I just dab. Make sure it's nice and dry. So you see these little spots right here that need to be re-cleaned. We're going to go through. Let me just go through. Just re-clean them up a little bit. And right there will get you a very acceptable level of cleaning the stencils. You can use soap wa soapy water with these, but do not run hot water on these. They will damage, they will warp. These are plastic. And they do get damaged. I actually seen stencils just literally warp. I do not recommend leaving these out in the sun. I've seen these stencils melt out in the sun and it takes a big hinder on your business. So it's very important. I've had people who worked for me. I tell them, do not leave these out in the sun. Make sure you take a towel when you're working. It has something that you can put over your book when it's hot and sunny, but you gotta make sure yourself's protected. It's very important to treat your products good. Treating your products good will mean the products will last you a while. If you're not good to your products, eventually everything will not go good. So that there is an acceptable level of having your stencils clean. So if you look at the difference between this stencil and this one, you'll see that there's a big difference between the cleanness of the stencils. You're never going to get them perfect, but you are going to get them to where they're acceptable and they're going to be clean for the job you're going to do. I have over 60 to 70 stencils I use for airbrush and sponge painting. 
So this is a very efficient and easy way of cleaning your stencils. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, or if you have any recommendations of a better way, please let me know. I'm always open to hearing more efficient ways, other ways that this can be done. And have a wonderful day, and I'm going to keep on cleaning here.